you know, the question most people ask to anyone in the wasteland is, where were you on day zero? Well, me, I was in California on a vacation. I was always a loner, so I was by myself. Now, I had a feeling that this apocalypse was going to happen. So, in the northern woods of Maine, I hid my, myself a little stash. You know, a little something so I could wait the apocalypse out with a little bit of comfort. I arrived to my destination. I quickly tried to remember where I had buried the cash I was so desperately looking for. When I found it, I started digging it up lightly and slowly so as not to break it. The white of the bag began showing, and my eyes lit up. I quickly went to the entrance of the bag to cry and grab one little present straight from the bottom to quench my thirst. I delved into the bag and pulled out a nice Coke. Due to the cold weather of Maine, it was buried under all that woods and was definitely cool. Now at this point in my journey, I had been thinking, was it really worth it going across the United States just to get a loyalty 12-pack Coke? Hell yeah, it was worth it. I'm going to rock this apocalypse out with some style. Hey there, YouTube. Joe's Guys one here with another episode in the Zombie Weapons Guide. Today's weapon, we will be reviewing the Pool Q. Um, Pool Q is not a good weapon at all. Um, as you can see what I'm doing right here, most Pool Qs come with two parts, which is the part in which you hit the ball and the handle. Um, and that makes it very easy for this to break off. Um, even as I'm holding this, it's a bit wobbly, and this was brand new when I got it, um, and it was kind of wobbly then. So, um, that's a really bad thing about this weapon, is that, like, it, it's, it's, you know, it's really weak. And if this part breaks, then you've lost about a good portion of your distance. So, the distance is good, but it's really weak, so you're not gonna have distance for long. What I would recommend doing is, if you're gonna attack, um, I would attack going down like this, because this is the part that's the heaviest and it's gonna give you the most, um, you know, it's gonna give you the most uh, strength for your hit or impact for your hit. Um, what I did was I took the rubber tip off um, and I sharpened it into a wooden pole for the other end. So what you could do is like stab him through the eye or through the temple. But aside from that, I wouldn't recommend ever trying to, like, stab somebody with a wooden spear or wooden stick that you made just from, like, you know, whittling a piece of wood. Because, um, it's not going to be hard enough to break through the skull. And the only way that you're going to kill them is if you get them through the eye, which goes directly into the brain, or into the helmet, and, uh, into the temple, which goes right into their brain as well. Um, which are both kind of hard to hit if, you know, the target's moving around and you have something like this. But at least you get a good distance, um... One problem is that it's kind of awkward to hold, so when you're holding it like this, you feel it's just going to break off, like it could snap at any moment. And obviously that's because it wasn't made for combat, it was made for playing pool. But, um, it's an okay weapon. Um, if I had to recommend something, I would go, uh, get rid of this, get rid of this part. Um, just like, toss it out, burn it, oh shit. Toss it out, burn it or something, and then just use this. Because this is a decent enough club on its own, and it won't weigh you that, like, it's not as awkward, um, I look like I was picking my nose there. It's not as awkward to have this huge thing what, that you're carrying around, you know, um, that gets in your way and shit like that. So, I would recommend just going with the bottom part. Um, so let's see, let's try the zombie test and see if it breaks my toe. Okay, here we go, here we go. So anyway, that would be a good, not that good of a zombie weapon. Um, it didn't break my toe. Um, today's zombie tip that I have for you is you don't need to have a huge truck to get around. Now, yes, like if in the apocalypse, now, yes, if you have a car, if you have a Hummer, if you have a pickup truck, you can definitely carry more items. This is true. But you also have to worry about resources, such as fuel. Um, you need a lot of fuel to power items like that. And if you're going to carry a lot of stuff in them, then you need more fuel, depending on how much, you know, you're weighing the car down by. 
Um, another thing is the noise it makes. Um, with a lot of big hummers and trucks, you can really make those babies purr. Um, and that's going to attract a lot of zombies. That's why what I would recommend doing is getting a bicycle or some form of electric vehicle that doesn't make any noise. Um, with a bicycle, you can just ride it around and you can still carry a lot of stuff and get in and out fast. Um, so what I would recommend is if you have a bicycle, you know, go into one shop, get as much as you can, leave, then go back, get as much as you can, leave, go back, you know. Because that will take um, less time. Well, that won't take less time. It'll take more time, but it won't be as dangerous. And plus, it doesn't make any noise. Plus, you get yourself in shape, um, which you do need to be fit for the apocalypse, which is why I probably won't make it since I'm fat. But, um, yeah, um, if you're going around on the water, you can't really do wrong there because zombies can't really, like, swim. They can walk on the bottom of the floor, but they can't, you know, attack you. But that might make fishing a bit difficult. Um, but anyways, I would recommend using a kayak or some form of rowboat on the water. Um, but anyways, yeah. Let's get some tests. All right, guys, so first off, I'm gonna start with type of a, kind of a spear attack, like a thrust. And I'm gonna switch around and go like this. So um, first we'll do the spear. Now, since it broke, I'm going to try it like this. Huh. So anyways, till next time, this is Joe's Guides 1 saying don't fear the apocalypse, welcome.